and I have a metal container here made of cast iron and I'm going to fill this now with water so we'll fill this up so this is now filled with liquid water right to the brim this is made of let's say cast iron so it's pretty strong and I'm just going to do this up completely so it's really tight so at the moment then we've got the container filled with liquid water but in a minute I'm going to freeze this to turn the liquid water into solid water into ice now we're going to lower the metal container here into this bath in here that contains a very very cold liquid so this is going to freeze the water but as you've seen as we freeze the water well the ice takes up more space than the liquid form so I'm going to lower it into the container here oops hopefully oh, maybe yes. there we are made it so this is now in the very cold liquid and the water is turning into ice so let's have a look at our ice crystals again so here we have a crystal of ice in the ordered array that we see here well there seems to be lots of space so as the liquid arranges itself the liquid water arranges itself we get this ordered crystal structure in ice there's actually quite a lot of space in it as the ice melts it takes up less space and this means if we had the solid ice it would actually float on top because it takes up more space now this is what's going on here we've taken the liquid, ice, uh, liquid water and we're cooling it down to make the solid ice but the ice takes up more space than the liquid but there's nowhere for this to expand because the metal container was absolutely filled to the brim with water so this means that the pressure is building up inside here and now it's exploded okay so this is one from an earlier lecture and you can see that actually this was pretty thick cast iron oops that's the top fell off uh, pretty thick cast iron okay and it's just the pressure as the water changes to ice that's uh, broken that and of course this is very important uh, I don't know if any of you had your water pipes burst water pipes can burst because again as the water cools turns to ice the ice expands uh, takes up more space than the liquid and that can actually burst the pipe so when the water uh, thaws again uh, it all comes out right well